In today's guitar lesson I'm going to be showing you the guitar chords and the rhythm comping for the great jazz standard Autumn Leaves in a beginner friendly way. Hi my dear jazz guitar enthusiasts around the world, Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. I'll show you every guitar chord and the rhythm comping note for note slow and easy and there is also a slow tempo playthrough towards the end of this lesson. For copyright reasons I've embellished the melody in the underlying backing track a bit and you can purchase these uh, backing tracks and also the tap including regular uh, music notation from one of the links down below in the description box please read the download instructions. All right, now let's learn how to play Autumn Leaf's guitar chords. Here we go. We are in the key of G minor and we have an A, another A and a B section. The A sections are each 8 bars long while the B section is 16 bars long. So we have a total of 32 bars. All right, we're in the key of B flat and we start on the second degree and that's the C minor chord, C minor 7. Whenever we have a jazz chord starting on the 6th uh, string, on the E string, we do not play the A string. So that is true for the entire song for almost everything in jazz, on jazz guitar. We start the C here on the 8th fret of the E string, then we mute the A string, all right, by touching it ever so slightly. D, G and B strings have the 8th fret too. I bar over this. Now of course you could play it like this too but it's actually once you've learned this chord it's so much easier to play the jazz cadence which is a chord progression that appears all the time in jazz and to just move down here. We have this exact same thing in the next bar. Okay so try to learn this chord this way. So C minor 7 and I play with my pick and my fingers. Pick goes to the E string and the fingers D, G, B strings. You could also use your fingers alone. Right now what we do is the basic jazz rhythm. Uh, by the way I have a video up on basic jazz rhythms. So I pluck the strings once. Immediately after that I release the pressure and I put my fingers into the strings that they need to go in next. So the same strings again. He rest and I play it a second time on beat 2 and. 1, 2 and 3, 4. This is one bar. Second bar. F9. That's the fifth degree of the scale in B flat. And as I said, we just need to move down here. Here is the F on the 8th fret of the A string, 7, 8 and 8, bar over this. We don't need the E string. So mute the low and the high E string by touching and this by not pressing. Right? Inner 4 strings. F9 and we play the same rhythm. Alright, so we go from C minor 7, 3, 4, F9 and now the cadence finishes off with B flat major that's the one chord so we have a two five one and that's the most common progression in jazz and it's called the jazz cadence and the one is always 
a fifth down below the five and that's the B flat here on the sixth fret. As I said when we start on the E string we don't play the A string, mute it by touching it. Seven, seven and six. B flat major seven is uh, the name of this chord. Play one bar again, so one bar, one bar, one bar. And now we have the fourth scale degree and that's always be uh, below the uh, first degree and that's an E flat. And the fourth degree of a major scale is always also a major chord and that's an E flat major seven. Six of A, eight, seven, eight inner four strings. See all the chords from the A string or the inner four strings and from the E strings we play E, D, G and B. Right? So now I want you to remember, to memorize, sorry, to memorize this two, five, one, uh, two, five, one, four chord progression, okay? Three, four. And actually now what we're going to do on, the, on this fourth bar, we want a little rhythmic break. So I, I add one more strum or, or plugging the strings and it sounds like this. So we have a little different thing going on in the fourth bar, like when the drummer plays his break, we do a break also sometimes. I play all the strings, the inner four strings I mean, then just the fingers, uh, D, G and B strings, rest and then all fingers again. So. One more time, right? That's for the fourth bar, a little change. Then we have, that was the major cadence, two, five, one, and the four is what I call the connector because it often connects to the minor cadence. Uh, a half diminished or A minus seven flat five. Here is the A on the fifth of the E string. The A string is muted by touching it with your middle finger. And then I have the fifth, the fifth, and the fourth. You could play it this way too. I prefer it this way because again, for the cadence, it's just quicker to just change that way instead of, you know, changing my whole fingering. Five, 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 four, A half diminished. A one bar. And actually now we don't play this again. You could, you could always play the basic jazz rhythm. But for a little change, so now I play, I start on four end and let it ring through out three end. Three, four, and one, two, three, end. Now I pluck the upper stri uh, three strings just quickly and release the pressure again. Three, four, and one, two, three, end. All right. And followed by the five chord. D7 flat 9. We always need to alter the 5 chord after half diminished. What I do is I let this here, leave this here and change these fingers. Here's the D, 5, 4, 5 is already lying here and 4 by barring. Please don't do this. Bar this. 5, 4, 5 and 4 of B. And now you have to practice going from the 2 chord to the 5 chord. A half diminished, D7 flat 9. All right, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, and. And here's a break again. All the strings, upper strings, all the strings. Right? 2, 3. Resolution, the one chord is the G minor. That's the key we're in, G minor. Three, 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 three. Like the C minor in the beginning, but on the third fret because here is the root, here is the G. Regular rhythm. And now G7 sharp five that leads us back to the C minor, to the beginning again. So um, G is here obviously. F, B, and D sharp or E flat. Three, three, four, four. And I play a uh, break again. Alright, 
So the last two bars, G minor 7, G7 sharp 5. So that was the entire A section, A1 section. And for the A2 section, you need to change the last bar. Instead of that G7 flat uh, sharp 5, you play one more bar of G minor 7, all right? But this time, because the previous one was G minor 7 already, and now I do a little pr uh, br break, not break, break. I go G minor 7, G flat minor 7, and back to G minor 7. Right, so last two bars, 3, 4. All right, and here is the entire A section for you. One, two, three, four. Welcome to the B section. We want to have a little change now in the rhythm. Instead of uh, doing our regular jazz plugging technique, what we do now is strumming in the Freddie Green vintage 1920s, 30s big band, big band kind of style. Okay, um, this is what it sounds like. Actually, we need to turn our volume down here and thin out the guitar a bit, otherwise all the jazzy mids come through and that doesn't sound good. All right, I'll show you how this works. It's not as easy as it looks actually to make it sound really cool. First of all, I use a really pointy pick and what I do is, a little too much light here, what I do is I switch it, I turn it sideways so I have the much uh, rounder edge here. All right, and I play, so I do this, move, and now I have the round side here. But you could also use your thumb. If you've used your fingers before, please do it with your thumb. Sounds so much smoother. Okay, and we start now with the same cadence uh, that we ended the A uh, section. And now is uh, the minor cadence, A half diminished, right, five, 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 four. And actually what we do is we play four beats downstrokes. One, two, three, four. That sounds simple. First of all, strum through the strings kind of slowly. I mean, not super slow, but kind of arpeggiate. Do this. Don't go. We, we don't want to play funk here, we want to play vintage jazz, so we strum through the strings. Let me give you a better angle here. That's what it should sound like. It shouldn't sound like, but... Okay, and in between those four down beats, and you need to accent, uh, uh, stress beats two and four a little harder. Three, four, all right. And in between those, we play the eight notes upward motion. We kind of very lightly go up here. I call this steering. I have a strumming video out, surprise, surprise, where I explain all this in detail, plus several other rhythms with strumming, okay? Um, so. I call this steering also, pot steering, okay? Because you need that little delay between the up and the next downbeat and by moving a little away, you get that. Okay, 
four downbeats are one bar, one measure. We need that with A flat, uh, with A half diminished. What you have to do now is mute the A string, okay? That's important. Then the cadence, D7 flat 9 again. We had this before. Touch the E string. You don't want to sound like that, all right? Got to mute it because you're now crossing all strings. So 5, 4, 5, 4 this was. And the resolution chord was G minor 7. Don't press down the A string. Okay, don't, it's, it would sound like this. That's wrong, it's plain wrong, okay? So just mute it. Four strokes down, four up. And then a G7, a uh, sharp five chord again. Three, three, four, four. All right, here are the first four bars. Three, four. Now we go to the major cadence. And you see, the song is easy to learn. Any song that has a lot of cadences in, and that jazz does that, is easy to memorize. So uh, now you play the major cadence. That was C minor 7 on the 8th fret. F9, 8, 7, 8, 8. Mute the E string, please. The one chord was B flat major seven, six, seven, seven, six. Mute the A string, but don't press it. And the four chord does not belong to the cadence, but is always connecting these two, these cadences together in this song at least, is e, e flat R major seven, six, eight, seven, eight. Same thing we had in the A section. That leads us back to another 2-5-1 in minor again. It's always the same thing. A, a half diminished. D7 flat 9. And it resolves to G minor, but I'll show you something different in, in the next phrase for that. Uh, we have a descending movement then. So I'm going to play through these 10 bars of the B section right now with strumming. 3, 4... And here are the last six bars already. This is phrase number three. We are at the resolution G minor seven, but this time I don't play a whole bar like the music some, uh, suggests, but a lot of people play the downward uh, movement. All right, what I do is here, uh, here is I play the G minor seven, but I play the bass first. And then the rest of the chord follows D, G, and B strings. And I actually strum it. Bass and the high strings. Then I go down one fret to G flat minor 7. F minor 7. And that's the beginning of another 2-5. That's a 2 chord. F minor 7. B flat 13. Now, unlike the B-flat major, this is a dif different kind of chord, and it's a tension chord. Check out my basic jazz chord tutorial, and then my tutorial on tension chords. So important. Six of D string is the B-flat. Six of D, seven, eight. All right? And I go bass, and then the rest. So this is my descending movement. Three, four. The music sheet suggests A half diminished. Most players don't play that because it sounds boring. We've had it now for, I don't know, a hundred times. So what we play is E flat 
uh, we play a substitute, E flat 9. Kind of everyone plays it like that. You could also play E flat major, but most people play E flat 9. <clears throat> Here's the E flat, 6th fret of the A string, 5, 6, 6, in a 4 strings. And I do a different, a kind of break now, a different one we didn't have before. I play the inner four strings, I slide down to D9, play the bass, and go up again to E flat, play all the strings, plus the high strings, high three strings, or all of them together again, it doesn't really matter. And it starts on one end, the one is a rest, I kind of hit the strings to make that rest and to feel the beat, three, four, one. Alright, then I go down to that D7 flat 9. It is still the cadence, but it's just a substitute for the A half diminished. So after that, we have the D7 flat 9 again. 5, 4, 5, 4. Regular jazz rhythm. And now we have the one chord, the G minus 7. And you could end it here and just play. play. Or. But let's assume we play a second chorus, you want to comp the soloist or just play another uh, verse, whatever. Now I make a little break, or it's not a break, it's a different rhythm, okay? One is a rest and I start on one, two, one and. One and, two is a rest and on three I play again. Same thing as the regular jazz rhythm, but shifted one eighth uh, to the right on the music sheet. One and three. One and three. Okay, one bar only and then G7 sharp five. Regular, uh, actually the uh, break. Right? So those last, actually let me play the entire phrase number three for you at slow tempo. One, two, three, A lot of people ask me about a roadmap on my YouTube tutorials. Well, if you're a beginner, I suggest basic jazz seventh chords, then the tension chords video. Uh, together with that, along with that, uh, the uh, regular rhythm, jazz rhythm, and the uh, strumming rhythm. Then, if you like autumn leaves, I have a super easy chord melody tutorial up here on YouTube of autumn leaves. Usually, chord melody is a hard thing to do. But uh, my Autumn Leaves chord melody tutorial is really easy, beginner friendly. And also, I have a solo lesson on Autumn Leaves, so check out all of these. I see you soon. Servus, baba.